today we are going to be creating a bowling animation inside of Maya by using rigid boy dynamics and some collisions and that's it so today we are basically creating this ball hitting the spins where suppose you have gone to a bowling alley just to play some bowlings and this ball will hit this spin and create those kind of a collision animation so we'll see how we can do that so first thing I want to do is basically move this sphere out of the way let me just make sure this is the center and with this selected without pin I'm gonna make sure this is completely centered so if you hit X on your keyboard this will kind of center it out on the grid so if you hit 4 on your keyboard you can see the wireframe and make sure this is completely in the center of the grid all right so once you're done with this I'm gonna hit ctrl D and just duplicate this and hit shift D shift D shift D to make a kind of a multiple clones and I'm gonna make seven of them I'm gonna select all of them ctrl D move them up front somewhere right about there and just delete the other two on the either side and control D one more time if we don't have to actually select the backside pins so I'm gonna select the front one and create a duplicate out of this and I think this much is good enough I'm gonna delete this one and it select this one control D move this up front and I think we are good to go so I'm gonna select all of these deselect your bowl go to your top view and uh, line them somewhere right about there okay so once you're done with this uh, we are going to create a floor or uh, basically a ramp where we are going to bowl so i'm going to turn off the grid from here and let's make our floor to something like this and something like this okay so i'm gonna reduce the divisions to something like maybe one we don't need that many subdivision and i'm just gonna extrude these so something like this and we can from here select these faces we don't actually I'm not going for the extreme kind of modeling phase from here because I don't want to create that realistic um, bowling alley just I'm here trying to create something that looks a bit more kind of a reasonable to kind of create the overall animation all right so I think uh, this from here is good enough so I'm gonna select these two I'm gonna bridge this and I'm gonna make sure if you hit three you would not see much of a collision here so that's why because the overall vertex has been merged but if you do find some you can say double faces or double vertex you can simply select them and merge vertices from here i'm gonna simply hit extrude extrude this downwards and just create some container here something like this all right so i'm gonna just close this up so i'm gonna select this guy this guy and let's bridge this select this one and this one and bridge this if you can't find my controls or what I'm using is a simple hotkeys but you can simply go to edit mesh and you can find bridge and whatever I'm using anyway so once you're done with this we have a bowling alley and uh, alley I mean and I'm gonna select this and move this backwards and a bit more up like someone is throwing this ball so once our modeling setup has been done what we are going to do is create our rigid boy dynamic so the first thing i'm going to do is select this guy and uh, let's name this quickly something like a floor okay so i'm going to go to my fx menu here go to fields and solver and create it as a passive collider now i'm going to select this guy and make it as an active rigid body and i'm going to do the same with this select all of these deselect your floor and make sure all of them are selected and go to fields and solvers and active rigid body and that's it all right so once you are done with creating all the rigid body and active rigid bodies we can get over with the animation here so if you can see the overall blackness here that is because of the whole lighting part so you can turn on the two-sided lighting just so you can get rid of that all right and yeah so from here I'm gonna select my bowl and this bowl looks a bit dark and that is probably because of the whole material I have on it all right so from here we can start creating our animation so the first thing that we are going to do is add a bit of a field and that first field will be obviously a gravity so I'm gonna select all of these and select a gravity and I'm gonna hit play and now you can see gravity hits perfectly all right so the second thing that we want is this bowl colliding with this pins so how do we hit the pins so basically we can do a couple of stuff we can select our bool we can go to field and solver and we can take a air uh, but in this case i think the best um, field to use is obviously the uniform because uniform allows you to create 
I kind of a push in a certain direction right now you can see the direction has been set to x that means on the right side and then you have y and z so this is x y and z then you have magnitude and any attenuation sorry so attenuation basically means how uh, sooner the overall you can say strength and the effect of uniform fades away with the time so you can increase the value if you want the overall energy on this of uniform should be faded away much sooner uh, so I'm going to keep that to default, but here is the strength of the uniform. So I'm going to keep it to something like a 20 and we'll see how this is reacting. So let's go to first frame and hit play. So you can see it's going kind of in the X direction. So I'm going to fix that quickly by simply hitting uh, one value on the Z direction. And now you'll see that it's kind of coming towards us. So that means we want a negative value minus one. And now we are good to go. So I'm going to make this something like a 50. Alright, so now you can see the overall air is kind of pushing towards the minus z direction. Right now the effect is a bit too low. So we have to increase this. So I'm going to go to something like maybe 150. And we can keep increasing this until we see a better result. So now you can see we have our bowling bowl kind of going in the right direction. And now it's hitting the pins. Now we have a big problem here. And the problem is that the collision is not exactly how we want it. And the reason is because... If you go to the rigid body here of any of these pins, you will notice that the mass value has been set to 1, which is the default value. And if you select the bowl, you'll notice that the default value for this mass has been set to 1 as well. So that means both of our object has a kind of a similar mass. That means it's not going to give that much of a colliding effect or you can say collision because they both have the same amount of mass. So I'm going to make the mass of this bowl a bit more high something like a five so that means this bowl is kind of heavier than these pins here so now it will hit much harder to this apart from that uh, the rest is good i'm not going to touch anything else but if you want if uh, the overall pins are a bit too bouncy you can change the bounciness and a bit more friction if you want so i'm not going to touch any of that since we have added a bit more mass you'll notice that the animation overall has become much slower and you'll see why if i hit play you'll notice that it's not going as fast as it was going before and the reason is because it is much heavier now so i'm going to select my uniform and add a value of maybe like a 400 and let's see from here all right so it's a bit too slow i think i'm going to make this something like 800 all right i can keep increasing this uh 800 is fine for now and now you can see all right so now we can see the overall collision but the collision is not exactly that hard but yes we get we are getting closer to the overall result here so you can see the overall pins falling on the ground and everything so this looks pretty pretty good okay so what we can do here is kind of add a bit more mass to this or what we can do is select all of these pins here and go to rigid body here and we can decrease the mass to something like a 0.6 that means it is much more lighter now so let's see i'm gonna hit play here All right, so now you can see much better result. So once you're done with this, uh, you can actually, now there is no actual way to catch rigid body dynamics, the legacy one. But what you can do is, I think you can go to keys and you can bake simulation, which will kind of add a keyframe animation with the overall manual keys. And that will help you to kind of play back. Right now, I cannot go back with the overall animation here, but you can bake this with manual keyframe. And by doing so, you can pretty much play back and forth whenever you want. So you can use this if you want. Now, Rigid Boy Dynamics doesn't have an actual kind of baking system like it has for end cloth and end particles and bifrost and so on. So it doesn't have anything for the overall Rigid Boy Dynamics. And so we have to use this, but that's okay. If your animation is a bit too fast or slow, make sure your playback has been set to every frame max real time this is kind of a real time animation and if you're you can say the scene is a bit too heavy it will kind of show you a slow animation because your scene is a bit too heavy to process but you can get the overall idea how the overall animation is kind of looking now our animation overall has been done we have created a perfect collision uh, apart from that if you want to create something interesting or you can say a imperfect bowling shot what you can do is you can add a bit more turbulence to this and this will kind of create those random kind of spinning movements where it's kind of going in different directions. So now you'll see now the magnitude value is pretty low. That's why it's still going in a linear direction. But you will see that it's kind of on the little bit on the left side. So what you can do is go to the turbulence field here and increase the magnitude to maybe like a 10. 
and we'll see how that shows us so now you can see a bit more tiltiness and I'm going to make this something like a 20 and play this back again so I can see the overall effect a bit more better but I'm, I think I'm gonna keep increasing this until I see much more drastic result so let's see from here alright so now it looks pretty good and if you'll notice this ball now it has a bit more randomness to this and I've also increased the noise level to something like a 2 just so we have a bit more natural turbulence going on and you can see the overall bounciness and everything with the overall turbulence here so you can create a bit more uh, kind of a natural thing with this where the ball is not exactly hitting in the straight up front and if you want a much more drastic result what you can do is keep increasing the magnitude value like we did for the uniform here and that will just give you a much more drastic result so apart from that the animation is overall looking pretty good so if you want to create a bit more animation with this you can play around with different kinds of fields and uh, if you can't get this kind of effect make sure you need to understand only a couple of things the first thing is obviously the mass here the mass is uh, basically how much heavier your object is and if you decrease the value your object becomes much lighter and if you increase the value the object becomes much heavier so you have to understand how mass works so right now our bowl is mass value of 5 and on the other hand the pins value has 0.6 that means that means this pins are a bit more lighter than the overall bowl here that's why you get much more realistic collision here the second is obviously understanding the uniform field how much strength you want on the magnitude how much strength it is required to push this bowl towards the pins so that's it uh, apart from that the rest of the simulation is a bit more easy thing and you can create pretty fun animation with this so i have fun with this create something good out of it and if you do create something out of it let me know show me i'll love to see your work and i'll see you in the next video